I've never wanted to own a SteelSeries keyboard. And then I use this thing. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech, Apex 7 TKL. This being the limited edition Ghost White finish, which only has a couple hundred units across the world. As far as I'm aware from what I've been told and having spoken with SteelSeries South Africa, there are only 20 coming to South Africa and then go are going to be exclusive with Eve Tech. And across the world, there's gonna be like less than a thousand units. So this is one of the most exclusive <laughs> peripheral clubs I've ever seen. And we've gotten a review sample out of those couple hundred, which is this wonderfully, beautifully RGB thing over here to my left. But before I get too carried away, let me actually run you through the layout and everything of this TKL. I personally love TKL, just going to preface that it's my favorite size because you keep the arrow keys, but you dump the numpad so you can get just a little bit closer and into the eSports intimacy position with the device. And this one has one of the nicest things right here at the bottom being a wrist rest. And this one is magnetically attached and quite strongly as well. There's little magnets which you can actually see over here. And then full set of rubberizing on this. All like six areas of this have then been rubberized and it's more of the same along the bottom of the keyboard. I must say the bottom of this thing does look like a tray used for food, like on an airplane, which gave me a bit of a chuckle. But <laughs> it's definitely not made from the same plastic. It gives a like, quite a nice matte finish, this plastic, and it feels really, really good to the touch. Um, the only criticism I would have of this actual wrist rest itself, though, is this piece here on top is like matte finished, kind of similarly to how they would do like some of their older mouse and keyboards and stuff, like some of this finish. And in my experience, this finish can be a peel hazard. So let's just hope that doesn't happen to this one. The cable on this thing is also so thick. I genuinely thought it was like a stethoscope when it was coming out of the box. It's like the thickest, most convincing cable I've ever seen. Thank goodness it's on this and not on the mouse because you're not gonna have to move it around. But it is pr pretty convincing and it's got really nice connectors as well. Obviously one being for the keyboard and the other for that full USB 3 pass through. The key set though, has to be some of the best visually I've ever seen. The putting keycaps are really, really nice and they do shine up exceptionally well. The diffusing and stuff is also pretty damn good. It is visible from the back of the LED, but from the front side, you're not gonna be able to see the actual individual LED, which is actually set on top of the switch. Speaking of the switch, it's, I actually really like the way they've mounted it and kept the flat deck as well because it just makes it that much easier to clean. You just rip off all the keycaps, throw those in a bucket of soapy water, clean them up and then put them back. And to you, those of you who have flat deck keyboards and don't do that, it takes 20 minutes. Just do it like every six months and then you won't have half your dead skin cells in the keyboard. The font on them is also quite nice and particularly large and it actually created a placebo effect where I thought that the keycaps might be larger and further apart and I literally took my other TKL and put it over the top and it's exactly one for one so it was all in my head maybe it's because they're white and white shows up like a lot more and looks bigger than it than a normal black keyword so maybe there's something to do with that not sure but the uh, the size and spacing is really really good now the switches themselves are the steel series made ones so these are their red editions which are completely linear and have a really really good feeling to them there's not much wobble either in the key and stabilizers and stuff are pretty quiet out of box i think the spacebar could use a little bit of a lube though but if you listen to the shift and enter very very nice very good sound all of the sound is from the actual key hitting the back of the or the back plate so if i take it out you'll see the switch has a very 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 silent profile now we come to the top of the keyboards on the top of left hand side you'll notice a little usb pass through and it's lit up as well so it's going to be really easy to be able to find that in the dark which i really really like but the main thing is you might have noticed that there's not a lot of function keys on this because they've actually moved all of those function keys that you would normally have over to the screen in the top right hand side over here and from there you can do a number of things one of those things is to be able to control your spotify for example with the lower button underneath the scroll acts, acts as your play pause and skip 
or repeat button, uh, depending on how many times you clicked it, which is exactly what they did with the Arctis 7P. But they've taken it one step further. On the OLED over there, you get a couple of controls that directly affect the keyboard, like the ability to record and delete macros, to be able to go through your different profiles on there as well, to load and delete profiles, do your lighting from the keyboard as well. So you've basically got a full set of the normal SteelSeries engine software, but all in there. And then from SteelSeries engine and stuff, you can do a lot more custom stuff like with macros and with your lighting, and you've got a full engine support. But the fact of the matter is now, you have all of that on a single key on that OLED, and then you can customize the OLED. So of course, I've scribbled Wookiee absolutely terribly like I did with the Prime Mouse. Now that feature set might seem superfluous to some of you, but guys that are in esports that are moving around a lot, that means that you're not gonna have to faff with any of that software. You can literally do any modification you need to on the fly, on the keyboard. And then, like I said, it is that full set of media keys as well. So you're getting like, Mm, uh, they've taken like kind of like what you get with an Arctis 7P, like that sort of audio functionality, and now put it into the keyboard, which is super, super sick. I, I believe it is on the Apex Pros already, and, and it had already been implemented there, and now this is like the second generation of that, but it's super, super sick. It's the first time I've ever seen anything like it. Now that is super, super cool. Like. It's a feature that just takes a normal, like really good mechanical keyboard and just ups it and takes it to the next level of sort of functionality. It's like a TKL plus in a lot of ways. So this setup, honestly, in my opinion, is probably the best TKL setup in the world. And I'm actually going to be getting one of these, not one of these specifically, because like I say, these are limited edition and there's only 20 of them. And personally, I want a black one because I've got a Sensei 10. So it would be nice to match that up and have a full series desktop, which is what I'm gonna do in the future. After having used this, I'm more than convinced into buying one myself. But if you are and you are looking to get one, these are exclusive to EVTEC. This Ghost TKL edition is exclusive to EVTEC. And like I said, there are only 20 units in stock. So if you are looking at getting one, you probably want to do it soon. Anyway, that is all I have for you in this review. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe. And I will see you on the flip side.